All right, guys, I'm here with Tim the mother friggin' man Anderson, who is the owner of Northwest Retention Systems, NW Retention Systems. We're here at the Great American Outdoor Show. Now, I've had the unfortunate, I mean, the pleasure of being in the booth next to Tim here for the full nine days here, but Tim's only been here for about seven of those because he's a slacker. But that's not the point. The point is, Tim's gonna take it away here. He's gonna talk a little bit about his product here, or products, because you got multiple products, yeah, multiple. right? Multiple products, so holsters and belts and slings and chest rigs and tigers and lions and bears, oh my. So with that, Tim, I want you to take away. Tell these wonderful people watching what that uh, viewers they're gonna put in their pants. Absolutely, well, I okay. appreciate that, Dan. What we got here, first off, we have our Outlaw Series. It's one of our most innovative concealment carrying uh, lines we have here. We have two versions of it. We've got our inside the waistband, and we have our outside the waistband. We'll go over the inside the waistband, which is the most unique overall. <clears throat> we have a hybrid design, hybrid being a leather and a Kydex back or front. Front, okay. Okay, that's cool, that's great. There's lots of companies doing that, but what's special about this is we have a piece on the inside here, a piece of plastic on the inside. What that's doing, that's grabbing a hold of the trigger guard where we gain our retention and locks that pistol into place. All right. So you can see there, you got 100% coverage of the trigger guard, 100% lockup, so you got good positive retention. Your clip here is multiple points of adjustment, up and down, and then side Looks to side. Like cant in there, yeah. So you can get it up higher, step that pistol down deeper, or get your cant. So wherever you're gonna carry up front, appendix, or all around the small of the back. All right. You got multiple attachments here, so you can take put this claw feature on. What that does is simply just pushes the belt, right. or against the belt, and rotates that grip in your body. Definitely an optional attachment. Leather on the back side, very comfortable. The other version is our, <clears throat> excuse me, is the, uh, the outside of the waistband version. Okay. Leather on the back, same as this one. Got that nice curve here with these wings. It sucks and pulls in very tight to the hip line. So it pulls right in tight with those wings. It's very stable as well. So very successful concealment here on that. Okay, so we got a nice flex there. Looks like rubber gaskets in here, okay. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah, so like I say, very compact, very minimal, but it accomplishes everything we want. Nice comfort with that leather against your skin and the nice positive click lock up on the pistol. Fantastic. All right. Belts. <clears throat> well, we got a fabric clip here. I'll go over the fabric clip real quick. This yeah. is very special. This is big for uh, not just the dudes, but for the ladies as well, right? Because this is something Mo that can most, be... Mostly women are wearing this. Mostly women. Yeah. Okay, so ladies. Ladies. Not too many things are specifically made for you, so... Here this I am. might be have it help with that. So we have our fabric clip holster, which is just our standard inside the waistband holster. Okay. Very slim, very minimal. It's for a Glock 43. You can see how it's very small, very low profile. What's beautiful about this, I'll demonstrate in my pocket here, but what's happening is you're going inside the pant line with this holster, and then you take and lock it back to itself through the fabric. This allows right. you to carry a holster on leggings, jeans without a belt, fill in the blank, gym shorts, whatever else. Which that's what makes it so beautiful. So Demonstration, this is inside the waistband on my pocket here. Gonna we'll do a close up afterwards, some B footage, so you'll see this up close. So anyway, it's able, allows the holster to stay in place. All right. But very simple, very minimal. Works I've never seen well. anything like that before, personally. Yeah. I know there's a lot of holsters out there, but that's the first one I've seen like that. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Moving on to our belts, these are very, very unique to us. It's made out of a rubber coated webbing. Rubber coated webbing. It gives okay. us a very, the way we've got it set up, we have two layers of it and then a layer of a 17 through 37 Cordura webbing in the center of it. Okay. What that allows us is a perfect ratio for flexibility, thinness, and then we have incredible structure of the belt itself. So the belt okay. holds itself up and has great structure to it, but yet it's still flexible and thin. So basically, everything you want in a belt is here. Plus, this milled aluminum G-hook buckle makes the taking off and on extremely so fast and easy. quick adjustable out here, but then you can also take it on and off without having to mess with the Velcro as much. That's correct. This Velcro right here is simply for your adjustment on the fly. So for example, grab that tail, you're going to loosen up your buckle or pull it and tighten it down. So if you're going to go inside the waistband and then pull that inside the waistband holster out, you need to tighten your belt up, you just pull that tail, give it a quick cinch, one second later and you're done. Very nice and quick. So very simple, very dirty, or clean and dirty, I should say. It's a very dirty. Very yeah. dirty. Very dirty. Yes. But three color options. You got green, coyote, and, and black. The green okay. and the coyote are a very new offering. We just brought those in. Okay. 
What about, you want me to grab this chest rig over here? Yeah, grab that sucker. Grab that sucker. Because this is what I've seen most of your guys running around with. This is kind of, I don't want to say like your claim to fame, or is this? This is definitely our, our, our bread and butter. This is our, this is our flagship product. This is definitely our top seller. So the way this thing works is, if this is better than anything else on the market, and I know it's mine, we built it and I designed it, but I could say that, and here's why I could say that. All right. I've got wide Cordura solution dyed nylon. It's the best nylon we can get. Two inches wide, disperses weight really well. Right. Okay, so we get good weight distribution for heavier firearms. I sew a little elastic in the back here. Okay, so we got a little bit of stretch, a little bit of give. Okay, right. the third really key feature, this really sets us apart, is the leather connecting the buckles to the shell here. What okay. that does is it allows between all three of these materials to flex, rotate, expand, decompress with the chest. All right, with the breathing. With the breathing. Else. So you're hiking up a hill and you're, you're all heavy breathing and you're puff, huffing and puffing. It's expanding with you. It's rotating with you. So it's not binding up. It's, pin it's not pinching. It's flexing and moving with your body. Because of that, sure. it's allowed to be very tight to the chest. Like actually tight, tight to the chest. So it's not flopping, moving, or shifting all over the place. Not and causing any chafing or Not causing it. any chafing or driving you crazy. So beautiful system, works exceptionally well uh, because of that, because of it's those features. Mostly hunters and day hikers. These are hikers, hunters. These, I mean, I got a lot of women who walk on their dogs, you know, in the morning. So who are wearing this, zipping up a little coat over it. Uh, but mainly okay. your hunters, your hikers. And for your hunters out there, including myself, the reason I just stated about this thing being exceptionally tight to the chest, bino bags run right over the top of this, unlike anything else, right over the top of this, better than anything else because of it being tight and it not being uncomfortably tight. So, big note there. So you can run your binos right over your firearm, have everything right there. Yep, exactly. Okay. And your backpack straps are completely uninterfering. They just run right by and, and completely by it. So they completely... Uh, All right. I hadn't even considered the conceal, you know, if you put a jacket over it. Yeah. So that's another one. That makes it a very quick concealed firearm, even though it seems at first glance like an open carry type of thing. Yep. But yeah, it's just a matter of zipping up a, a vest or a, or a jacket. Okay. Absolutely. So we've gone over some of the holsters. We've gone over the chest rigs. We've gone over some of the belts. I think we have a swing back here. We do. I think I got it off there right it now. It is off there. Just want to grab one of those? We'll just, we'll just do it like this here. I'll still see, I'll set this aside here. What's beautiful about this sling is... To clarify, we're switching from pistols now to a right. carbine sling. Yeah. I don't know if we made that clear. <laughs> we did now, though. So what we got here is we got a, basically a buckleless design sling. So this allows us to have a very streamlined, very low profile sling. So this is the top of the sling. There's not a big buckle system right here where my left hand is. So snag free. I'm using wider webbing at the top. Okay. And I'm using your traditional one inch webbing at the bottom. This is where your, your quick slide is with your pull tab. Right. Very easy to grab a hold of. Nice yeah, nylon nice pull tab. tab. Yeah. Pull, loosen her up, push, tighten her back down. Nice you, and smooth. You'll notice there's no buckle system down here at the end. And you also notice there's not a bunch of excess webbing here. Right. And that is due to us having the adjustment of the overall sling in the top of the sling. So this is wider webbing. It's acting as your pad, but it's also acting as your overall adjustment. So you can see here, we've got it doubled up and you can adjust the sling that's out as long as you want. Yeah. And so that's what's beautiful about that is the fact that there's no buckles, very streamlined, very low profile, but you can still have a quick adjusting sling. It does everything you want it to do. and doesn't do anything more than that. So that's what's beautiful about that. All right. So now we've gone over the products. Um, if we can, we don't need to worry about weights, but what about pricing for some of these different things? Pricing, I have the best value pricing on the marketplace. So your Outlaw series are $110. What you're getting okay. is a premium fit holster space, specifically the firearm model itself. And you're getting a lifetime, no bullshit guarantee on everything. We replace screws, we replace buckles, we replace anything, it doesn't matter what happened. We got so I go hiking care. or something like that, or and a screw falls off, but I just contact you and say, hey man, I lost a screw. And and as soon as you contact us, our goal is to be on top of it and sending shit out uh, within 24 hours notice. That's that's the goal with the company and what we, okay. we try to uphold as a standard. So customer service is, is always uh, extremely important in right. that concern. So that you're getting you're getting that great service and a phenomenal product to boot. Your belts, they're 60 to $80, MSRP is $80. Uh, well worth it. We should try, probably charge $120 for these things because they are compared light. to similar type belts. Compared I can see to that, similar yeah. type belts, especially the longevity. We've had these out for over three years now, and I, I mean, I just got a text from a customer the other day. He's had a belt for over a year, and in the picture, he's holding it up like this and still doing the exact same circle. 
and it's not bone or and anything else. And that's everyday carry wear? Literally every single day. Okay. And he's a machinist, and so like it was, the bell cup was all scratched, and we had melt marks in it and stuff like that. So he was definitely using it pretty hard. But we right. had a couple guys come up here at the show uh, who wore it, got it last year. So Same between 16 and 80, 110. What about for the ladies? The ladies, you're sitting at 70, $70 for these guys. Okay. And uh, like I said, same warranty, same everything else. So you're gonna get it fit. It's gonna come in, do the job, do what it's supposed to do, and nothing more, nothing less. Uh, the chest Scout rigs. chest rig, this guy. You're sitting at 140 to 160. Okay. Plus options. So plus we options. have the one of the biggest selections on the marketplace just in firearms alone. Right. Not even including color options, light bearing options. So if you've got any kind of light bearing option on like your Glock or HK, whatever it is, we likely have you covered. We've got. I've been sitting next to you all week here, and people come up with the most random guns, and usually you're like, "Yep." So he's yeah. got quite a few. Yeah. This is, so it's all the custom features. You're sitting at your base price is sitting anywhere from 140 to 160, depending on if you're getting it on sale or not, and okay. then you can increase your price range uh, just based off of what options you have. So if you want a light, that increases the price, and right. rightfully so, because we're going to build that custom specifically for you, and uh, and that's that. You can get it in any kind of color you want. Cool American flag patterns, all kinds of stuff you can do with this. Yeah, you have the hibiscus patterns out here and the flannels oh, yeah. and the, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, buffalo check, all kinds of cool stuff. So the right. the options are almost endless. Almost. Almost. There's always a limit. There's right? always always something in there. Uh, what about the slings? The slings are only forty bucks. Forty dollars for a sling, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty great. solid. No, forty dollars for a sling. And usually I'll run a two for two for uh, or one and uh, a BOGO, buy one, get one half off. Uh, sale usually so so 60 bucks now for two that's right basically most things cost more than that yeah. for just one so yeah. that's and you're that's not losing any, deal. any any quality functions it's just we're just simplifying we're not reinventing the wheel we're just making it more simple so All that's right. what allows us to get a better price point on those so we've gone over the products we've gone over the price points we've gone over the quality um hmm trying to think if there's anything i'm missing it sounds like a pretty good pretty good analysis here so if you guys have any questions, hit them up or hit us up in the comment section and I'll shoot questions over to Tim or where can they find you? You can find me at Instagram, nw.retention, Facebook, same thing. Uh, the website is nwretention.com. It's nwretention.com. If you throw nwretention in the Google bar, you'll pull me up. So if you have any specific questions directly related to their products that I obviously probably wouldn't know, you can hit them up directly as well. Yep. Um, Turnaround time, What's, or not turnaround time for quality, but uh, if somebody orders something from you, approximately how long are they looking at? You're looking at approximately four weeks. Uh, the goal for the okay. business and companies always to have it at a two week uh, lead time mark. And currently we're working on having a, a drop ship, not drop ship, but uh, in stock features for a lot of popular stuff. Okay. So you can get it like that. Uh, but like I say, it's all very custom. Our goal is always to have a two to three week lead time as our standard. Sometimes it gets inflated because, you know, you know, four, four weeks still is not bad for four most folks, you know, a, compared I to mean, a lot of Most people, when they, when they ask, they go, oh, wow, that's really great. And it really is, because yeah. there's companies out there where you're 16 weeks on your lead time. And uh, so we've got that dialed in. And for those that are watching that are Icarus fans, uh, we are currently in talks. Uh, I'm trying to connect Northwest and Icarus. So fingers crossed, we'll be able to get some Icarus products in the lineup for Northwest Retention as well. So if you want to be carrying your uh, Icarus on a scout chest rig or in the... Uh, fabric belt uh, holster there that should hopefully be coming in the near future. But until then, thank you very much, Tim. Okay. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. And everyone else, stay safe, stay smart, stay tactical, my friends.